Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. In this video, I will show all of you dog and cat lovers out there three cute and easy DIY phone case ideas. I'm sure you guys know by now that I am a huge dog lover and I'm excited to team up with BarkBox. So a big thanks to BarkBox for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. BarkBox is a monthly subscription service and every month you can get a box full of all natural treats and innovative toys to match your dog's needs and size, small, medium, or large. Kona absolutely loves getting things in the mail and every box is themed, so this month was Pooh York City, and it included a lot of toys that were inspired by New York. It had this takeout box with these adorable little dumplings inside. She loved that toy. A Statue of Liberty kind of ball head. A newspaper toy. The box includes all natural grain-free treats, which is a big thing for me because I only feed her grain-free food. She totally loved everything in this box and it's really great for her especially because she is an active, energetic dog and so toys are really beneficial to her. And I have a special link for you guys. If you want to try this out with your dog, you can get an extra free month of BarkBox. Just go to BarkBox.com slash lemon when you subscribe to a 6 or 12 month plan. And I will also include that link down below. These DIY cases are definitely inspired by Kona. I take so many photos of her with my phone, like if you're the same way with your pet. But these can easily be adjusted to fit the cat lovers out there. Like you can easily say namaste in bed with my cat instead of what I put on there. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I make new videos each week, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, I will include all of the supplies I use in the description below. All right, let's get into it. Starting with my clear phone case, I'm going to trace it onto this piece of paper. I'm going to trace the smaller area of the phone case, which is the outside of it, so I have it turned over. This is an easy way to get a rough outline of the size of your case. Then cut it out, and keep in mind that you will have to go back and trim off just a little to get the fit just right. And I'm using a craft knife and a cutting mat to trim out the camera hole. Now I have a template ready, which I'm also going to use as my first design. For this one, I'm lightly drawing out a heart, which I'm then going to fill with paw prints. I'm using Jelly Roll Moonlight pens because they are opaque, but you can also use paint or any medium of your choice. Paw prints are really easy to draw. You can just start with a shape like this, kind of an upside down heart, and then draw four ovals on top of it. If you have multiple or small and large pets, this is a cute way to represent each one. You can make a small paw and a large paw and mix them up. I'm going for a kind of ombre gradient heart, so I'm going to do multiple paw prints in pink, purple, and blue. When the ink is dry, you can erase any pencil marks, and then your cute paw print heart is ready to pop into your case. This makes a cute case for both dog and cat lovers. Next, I'm going to use this patterned paper with a bunch of hearts on it, and also use the previous one I did to use as a template. Trace the template and cut it out, and you can use any type of paper you want for this. The texture inside the hearts on this is actually like a sweater look, and it's really cozy, and I'm going to write out a fun quote on this. You can write out any quote you want. I think this one is kind of funny and cute, it's going to be namaste in bed with my dog. Namaste is an Indian word, it's a greeting, and it's usually used at the end of yoga, and it means the light in me honors the light in you, but it can also be used as a pun. Sometimes people say namaste in bed or namaste at home, but in this case, I'm going to say namaste in bed with my dog because who doesn't want to cuddle with their dog? And if you're a cat cuddler instead, you can also write namaste in bed with my cat. I'm writing this out in my quirky handwriting and drawing little hearts on the sides of dog. Erase any pencil marks and then you have a cute quirky pun to put onto your phone case that definitely shows you love your pet. This next one I'm also going to do on a patterned paper and I'm going to trace that template I made. Cut it out and then I'm going to draw a really simple kind of cartoonish drawing of my dog on the bottom of the case. It helps to look at a photo of your dog or cat for reference and just make a really simple drawing. You can also draw this on a separate piece of paper and glue it onto your patterned paper. I'm doing it directly on the patterned piece of paper because I can easily go over the shape with a permanent marker. 
Kona has these fantastic big ears which you can't miss. You can always see where she is because these two ears are pointing up. This design will have your pet's head kind of peeking out on the case, which I think is really cute and quirky. And you can also print out a picture of your pet if you don't want to draw them. Again, I'm making this totally simple, just a really simple drawing of Kona. And it's almost going to look cartoonish, but I like that. I think hand drawing your cats or dogs can look really cute and charming. I'm using the gel pen again because they're nice and opaque to make the whites in her face. And a little tip for gel pens, if you smudge the ink before it dries, it gives you a blending painterly effect. So that's what I did to bring out some of the expression in Kona's face. And when the gel ink was dry, I went over it with a yellow marker. For the cat lovers, I think this layout would look totally cute with a pair of cat ears peeking out. When the ink is all dry, it's ready to pop into the case. And here is my little pup's face poking out on my phone case, which I think is really cute and adorable. You can do this on any floral patterned paper or any patterned paper that shows the personality of your pet. You can easily adjust the design of these phone cases to fit your pet and your style. And let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And if you try any of these out for yourself, I would love to see what you make. So share those with me on my social links and be sure to follow me while you're over there. Thanks again to BarkBox for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. And again, be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And if you want to see more DIY phone cases, I have a whole playlist right here. And if you want more pet DIYs, check out this playlist playlist right here. All of these links will be down below and I will see you guys next time. Oh and if you're wondering about my shirt, there is a kelpie on it. My dad got this for me. Thanks dad. Okay bye!